this time between his hometown of Mexicali in Mexico and Los Angeles. There's a solid left that sends Mesa down. Gino, Jimmy Montoya, ready to go with round number one. Five foot nine, Mesa, five foot seven, Garza, actually two tall guys for 122 pounds, and the first left hook by Garza to the face of Mesa. Garza in white, Mesa in red. These two Californians traveling all across America to settle a title in Kingston, New York. was born in Santa Cruz and raised in Texas. He's an American and the Mexican Mesa now divides his time between his hometown of Mexicali in Mexico and Los Angeles. There's a solid left that sends Mesa down. A left hook by Jaime Garza directed to the neutral corner and Mesa takes all of the eight seconds to get up. So a startling flash knockdown by Jaime Garza with Mesa taking another left hand, and now he scores a left. Tim Garza is usually the guy that's susceptible early. He's been on the deck four times, always in an early round, and has gotten up to win. This time, the other guy's on the deck. And also, you'll notice the smaller the small waist these guys like for the thin out process. They go right at each other and throw a bomb. Good left jab by Mesa. Face of the champion Garza. Garza in white. Tim Mesa was so calm when he got knocked down, I was afraid he wasn't going to get up. I did, too. I had the same thought. Gil, I didn't know whether he was really stunned or whether he was totally in control, and apparently he was in control as he's come back strongly. He took the full eight seconds on the seat of his pants and then got himself ready for battle. Tim, it's quite a statement to say that the guy is the hardest puncher in boxing today, pound for pound. But in my opinion, that's what Gaza is. He can really get you out of there with one punch. I don't know too many other fighters that can do that. Cut Garza backing out. And there's a good solid left jab by Mesa. He has rallied quite well from the early knockdown. Good left hook to the body by Mesa, Tim. Garza's making the mistake of falling in with his hands down. There's another left hook that sends Mesa down. Do they count that or not? Evidently not. No, he threw him down, Tim. No knockdown. Johnny Lobianco, the referee from New York. Tim, the, the big difference that I see so far is that Garza is much the shorter puncher of the two. He'll beat Mesa to the punch. M Mesa is a wide puncher. Oh, oh big left hand goes Garza. Mesa sends Garza to the canvas. And he hit his head as he went down. And he is groggy. Trying to get up. He may not make it. And it's all over. Jaime Garza is unable to continue. A big left hand by one hit Mesa. It spikes. But he is the winner with a stunning left hand. Still groggy, Jaime Garza being attended to in the far corner. He tried gamely to get up, but you can see by the look in his eyes, he had no idea where he was and could not retain his balance. Let's see the knockdown. That was Garza reaching in, Tim, and he's wide open, and Mesa throws the short left hook, and down he goes. Stein, when I think that this is a great fighter, yeah. Now, it looked like you had a perfectly timed left hook. Did you see that he was leaning into that punch? Uh, all time we was training uh, hooks and uh, right hand. Uh, all time I, I just uh, do it my, my job, my, my work. I just do my work. Situation where the spear puncher guards had already sent Mesa to the canvas in this very first round and then catches one like that. Uh, Ray, uh, you're, you're seeing a, such an explosive left hand here from this guy. It looked like...